Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's the 25th of June, 2023. We're going to talk about Marathon Digital Holdings today because this particular stock is igniting profit right now. You guys can tell the last couple of days, price has gone from, what, $9 all the way up to 13 Will it continue? Let's talk about it. So you guys can see that the last time we saw price in Marathon come all the way up here to $13, the market completely went down, okay? This time it's kind of different. Yes, price in Marathon did hit this area and price did go lower, but immediately it came right back up to hit that price target again. That kind of lets you know that the market is definitely trending to the bullish, bullish side, that they're really looking for this price in Marathon to go up. But that's the problem, 13 bucks. So don't become overly excited if Marathon does not continue to go up or Mara. Now, let's look at this on a different chart real quick. Here is Marathon on a two day chart. Okay, you guys can see here that the price action in Marathon has had a couple of times to where it was able to break $13 to the upside. So we're gonna to try to figure out, okay, cool. Are we going to see that happen again? Because if so, then we need to anticipate price and marathon going up okay because currently the stock is bullish and this is the current energy that is in the market for mara right now that is going to catapult this stock above 13 bucks this is energy right there okay now let's take a look at marathon on the three-day chart i like what's been going on recently we did receive an indicator of strength there and now we're currently seeing on this current three-day price bar, the buyers currently accumulating and absorbing whoever's trying to sell their Mara, Mara right there around $13. Here is Mara on the five-day chart. We have a day and five hours left. I do like what we have right now to the market. A push to go up, an indicator of strength. Very good. And then I want you all to look at this volume down here. That's pretty expensive pretty massive when you look at the prior volume bars for the five day time frame. Like nothing stands out in the market in Mara outside of what occurred on the last five days. Something is going on. Someone is becoming more active into the market in Mara. Here it is on the weekly chart. And again, the stock is telling you precisely what people think. We have another indicator of strength, but this time it's on the weekly chart. So is this stock bullish? Yes, it is. Now, the last time we saw an indicator like this was right here on this weekly price bar, okay? The week of April the 10th, 2023, what happened? Market came right back down the next week. So again, be ready. That's all I'm gonna tell you is be ready. Here it is on the two, here it is on the three, here it is on the five, this is Mara on the completed five weekly price chart. And I'm here to tell you that this is definitely bullish on the five weekly time frame. When we saw, okay, the market in Mara go down the previous five weeks, you guys can see April the 17th, this is the five weekly price bar. And then immediately the next five weeks, price comes right back up. Why would that be the case if the market was really weak? Check it out, charts don't lie. So I think price in Mara is gonna go higher. I do off of the information that we have right now. The only way that this would change is us seeing price having problems of breaking $13. That's the only reason we would have to come back in and change this price prediction. Outside of that, Mara is definitely bullish. It's still trending to the upside. Nothing has changed just yet. So what we're going to do is play some strength into the market. I'm going to put this on the chart too. because I want you all to see that price in tomorrow on the five weekly chart is trending and it's trending to the upside as well. My first target is going to be here around 16. It might be 14. Yeah, we do $14 first, 16 second, and then third is going to be like around 20, 19. So we have 14, 16, and like $19. 19 would definitely have to be on a longer term basis though. Weekly chart, five weekly chart. So I'm done. So let me go ahead and put this on the chart and we'll 
let you go. So now we want to price, we want price, excuse me, we want price in Mara to hold $10 on any indications of weakness. And that would take us to our trend line. So let's go ahead and create this trend line a little bit better. Okay. So we're going to hold this trend line here in the market as well. Because we don't want to see market break this trend line to the downside. Because if it does, then we have to come in and erase this price prediction in Mara. First target I said was around 14. Okay, that's 10.14%. Second was around 16. That's 25.79%. And third target was around $19. We'll do 18, just to be conservative. 41.5% move to the upside in Mara from there. Okay, I'm going to extend this resistance area because again, we want to visualize, okay, where are the problems for the buyers? And that's the nearest one right there around $13. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.